Hey guys, Xiaomi and today we are taking a look at the Water M Bison. After the recent patch, he got buffed and I gotta say, it's actually much better than I thought it would be and I might have been wrong the entire time and I'm very sorry about it because this is pretty good. So, he changed from destroying enemy HP by the percentage of his damage to percentage of enemy current loss HP. So he doesn't need to do any damage at all to destroy a lot of HP. And that is pretty crazy. I don't even care about the damage reduction anymore, but the destroy factor is insane. And you don't need any skill up for this to work. And it's amazing. He can provoke, he can defense break. So overall kit, not too shabby. To demonstrate the destroy, let's do a quick test right here. You're gonna be shocked, okay? Because I was shocked when I try him out. We're gonna do a lot of damage to this. A lot of damage, right? And then, just one simple touch. And look at that. That's amazing. Just one simple touch. He destroyed 30% of that retouch HP. And what if I touch him again? is now 50% HP destroyed. Just one simple touch. He doesn't need to do any damage. What if I touch him again? Okay, okay. The, I'm gonna say it one more time and FBI is gonna knock on my door. Look, it's amazing. And now that HP scaling unit is garbage. <laughs> oh my God. He's gonna be the new Molly counter destroyer. He's gonna destroy all the Molly defense that trying to just waste your time. And you know what's better? He destroyed through immunity as well. He doesn't care. She's gonna buff her whatever immunity shield nonsense, right? But one simple touch. <laughs> I can't even stop. But one simple touch. He doesn't even need to do any damage. That's kind of nutty. Yeah, that, that is kind of nice. She, you know, not bad at all. And again. See? So much destroy. That is awesome. <laughs> this is so awesome, dude. Okay, that's kind of suiciding right there, Sean. What are you doing right there? Invincibility. Crazy, right? Go through that as well. <laughs> so nothing gonna stop him from destroying the enemy HP. His hand is poison. Demonic being at his core. He touch you one time, you like corroding. Is that a word? I'm really liking the destroy thing. It's pretty amazing. I like that a lot. I think the best build for him will probably be either violent, but if you don't have violent, you can just slap some revenge on him. And the moment he touched the enemy, one way or another, he will destroy the enemy HP, even with revenge. So the build is speed, HP, HP, triple HP, whatever you want. I think having some good accuracy is good because he can provoke and defense break. And those are valuable debuff. So, once in a while, you come across this kind of tanky defense, right? This is where destroy is pretty handy. So what you want to do is you probably want to bring in some sort of damage dealer that do good damage but doesn't necessarily kill the enemy immediately like Molong, Coco, Skogo or some sort of bruiser like Dragon Knight and shit. So you don't kill the enemy immediately but you're killing them slowly. But usually if you kill them slowly, you don't have destroy, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So you want some sort of destroy. And uh, let, let me try to kill that Tessarion, for example, okay? Some damage right there. And then we're gonna just do this to him. He's gonna get revive and you do this. <laughs> Dude, so you accept the fact that they're gonna revive him and it's all good, but you're gonna be just fine with killing that unit over and over, over again. We're trying to do some more damage here. Boom. He doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, you can build him speed, quick damage, HP, HP, quick damage, HP, all that good stuff. But I think the point of this guy is not to invest a lot of good root on him, but he can bring great results. So what I want to do right now is try and do damage on... Dude, you see the damage from the Sauron to Louise? He did nothing. That is crazy. So now, this guy not only can die at any moment, but he also doesn't do any damage anymore to your wind tank. So I want to do, I want to start killing Tyrannus though, honestly. Let's charge our cannon. Ready, lock and load. And we're trying to stun Lulu maybe. Nice stun, stun this guy. Attack by reduction. Um, let's destroy some HP here. See, 
So nice. Revenge also destroy. We can do this. Good damage on this guy. He's gonna come back to uh to the bear form. And sometimes you can't kill him. Look at the damage from this down. It's nothing now. <laughs> sometimes you can't kill him immediately. It happens. So you're gonna do that to him. And now killing him become a little bit easier. Personally, I'm not a big fan of destroying fact. Gotta be real. Okay. I wanna go in and I wanna go out like Dude, look at the damage of the sound, it's nothing. I want to go in and go out pretty much immediately. I don't want to waste my time here, destroy and like do all this shit. <laughs> but for those who do, hey, this is a very fun unit now because I know a lot of people are a fan of destroy effect, especially the uh, Fire Marshal Cat is a very popular unit among some group of people. So you can give this guy a try if you have him and take him on storage. And the best thing is, you don't have to skill him up. He work immediately. I mean, if you can skill up, he can defense wreck better, he can provoke better, but I don't think that's gonna be the main selling point of this unit. The main selling point is that he's good for long battle and you can assure your win. Because when you destroy this much HP, no matter how long the battle is gonna be, you're winning this shit, right? 100%. So nice. And look at that Tessar. I, I don't even know this unit exists because his damage is now non-existent. In the past, it is very hard for, for him to destroy enemy HP this fast. So the damage reduction was not very noticeable. But the moment you can destroy Tessar HP to this amount in like, I don't know, two turn, the damage reduction become noticeable immediately. And that is really, really cool. You can definitely use him with Molong or against Molong because Molong is the kind of unit that lose a lot of HP very quickly as well. But first, let's try to slap this Yonhong. That is a very nice provoke. Oh, we got stunned. Like I could have one shot, I think. Oh my God, the damage is kind of nutty. Boom. Uh-oh, what's happening? I'm not too sure what's happening. I don't like this team, no support. But I think we should be okay. Let me try to defense break you. And then Laika, easy crit, boom. Nice healing back, oh god. Destroy, boom. So right now, if he violent proc and uh, somehow heal the Molong back to full, the Molong is not like gonna be super insane, right? Because the destroy HP is so much. And now we can move on to the Yun Hong. Stun the Yun Hong. Hey! And we're good. We're gonna try to provoke this guy. Ouch, ouch. Relax, Yun Hong, relax. You are doing way too much, way too good already. Maybe I should kill Perna though. So we're gonna do that to Perna. Oh my god, we kill Perna too fast. I was hoping I don't kill Perna and I would destroy it. I think triple revenge is just clean because the provoke mechanic works really well with the revenge mechanic. We're gonna provoke this, maybe. Kill the Perna. Uh oh, in some trouble. See that? I'm constantly keeping this Perna busy with the, uh, with the provoke. And now he's not that strong anymore. Half HP, that's like what? 20k? 15? Easy kill for Chow. I mean, not Chow, uh, Laika. And the provoke. This is not even skill up. And we were provoking like crazy. Imagine max skill. It's gonna be kinda nice. Look at that. The destroy thing is like, it's to ensure that you're gonna win in the long run. It's like an anti proc mechanic. Because even if you're proccing that much, your HP is now all gone. And you should be okay winning, no matter what they proc. Unfortunately, I can't find like an Artemio Molly defense, but I think the. Water Bison is pretty much perfect for that role now. Oh my god, oh my god. Wow, nice violin. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> so I think if you see these kind of defense now, you are going to do well. So imagine you're using like, I don't know, a uh, Skogo. I like Coco, so I'm using Coco, okay? But you can definitely run a Skogo and just slowly wear them down. The Skogo can be on destroy as well, and that can actually be good. Let me try to provoke this. Oh, nice provoke. Oh, wait. If I get Oblivion, it doesn't work anymore, right? That's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. Attack break? No attack break. Oh, we are in some trouble. We Oh, that provoked though. We can kill Tessarion, maybe? <laughs> okay. I think Coco is a little bit too strong for this one. Just a tiny bit too strong for this. So uh, you can't really see the destroy, but we are slowly working on this guy, okay? Oh, we can Violent Proc. Oh shit, he's so dead, dude. That Molly's so dead. I'm gonna skill up Coco soon. She's like halfway there. The moment I max her skill three, I'm gonna unleash her to the world and it's gonna hurt so much. See, 
a lot of damage. And now we're going to try to take our turn to destroy that real quick. So shield, right? Boom. <laughs> Dude, that is hurting Molly a lot because she scaled with her HP. And if she can't heal a lot, that's a lot of problem for Molly. And you don't want that in your tanky comms, right? You don't want all your HP to be like this in a tanky comms. Boom. Oh my god, look at the destroy on the Savannah. What you gonna do about it, son? Oh, okay, okay, relax, relax, okay? I don't wanna find out what you wanna do about it. Just asking, okay? I'm just asking only. I'm gonna do this. I need attack buff for Coco, though. I need attack buff to slap. Hey, don't, don't, don't waste my damage like that. She, she can't heal back. And now we're gonna do this. Way more effective because she couldn't heal back the amount of HP that was destroyed by the, by the water bison. Good try, buddy. Good try. But I think he's still more effective against HP comm that when you take the HP away, they can't do anything. So more of the Wind Monkey King sort of stuff. Savannah is still a, a speedy, speedy unit. This time I'm gonna make him the attention of all the enemy unit. And hopefully we can do some great damage. Oh, there's so much shield. I wanna break the, the shield first though. We're gonna try and do some damage to them. And I want to see the Bison just revenge and start going ham and cheese with the destroy on the enemy team. Imagine the defense breaking be two turns, but that would make that would make the other Bison a little bit too strong, right? Isn't it? Is it okay to make the other Bison a little bit stronger and make this guy stronger? Okay, he got shield, so he didn't get destroyed much. Oh, it's gonna be a long, long fight, huh? Because uh, <laughs> okay, defense break. I don't know how we're gonna break that 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 Ophelia. We we need to break the Ophelia first before we get to touch the other unit. Okay, we're slowly destroying the Ophelia. That is amazing. Okay, good damage, good damage. Even better damage. So right now, one touch for my Bison is more than enough to bring this girl down. Okay, let's protect the team first. Kind of scared here. Oh, the healing though. You need to touch them while they lost the HP. So right now, even if I touch her, that's kind of wrong. I don't destroy a lot. Oh, Ooh, the, the revenge though, the revenge. Dude, can you stop? More damage on you. Okay, now she's lost a fair bit of HP right there. We're gonna do this. And because he's on triple revenge, they're both hitting him. So they kind of take turn to be provoked by him, which is amazing. Ouch. Bruh. Ouch. Oh, we waste a chance to do something to her right there. Stun. The shield's back. But right now, even Prime Heal cannot save her. And killing her will be... Will be a simple task. He can do some damage if you build him on speed with damage HP. But still, I would not recommend wasting a good vile crit damage bruiser rune set on a unit that is mainly used for one and one purpose only, which is to destroy. Alright, we should be good here. I'm gonna wake the pra actually. Make her lose some HP. Oh, that nice little stun right there. I think Fuki is really underrated. I wonder if he's still underrated because Kaki is still on the best only Musha out there. But um, Fuki is kind of underrated because you can build him speed HP HP, super tanky, and he does such good damage. Oh, look at that. One simple touch. One, two simple touch. All right, I'm gonna let Pry heal, okay? I'm, I'm gonna let you heal. I wanna see, I wanna see the healing power of you, Praha. Go for it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's not healing for much. Easy kill from now on. So you are not seeing like an exciting cleave battle, but I don't know. Both are getting destroyed right here. Are you are you guys excited about this unit? I am semi excited. Okay, I am semi excited, especially for people who haven't used him ever, and now he's like taking a walk out of the storage, and you can build him with like shitty rune, and he's still gonna work just fine. I think that's a huge win. Yeah, I think that is a huge win for this guy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next testing video. Bye.